Hi, this is Tomoko Iwakao. Welcome to Global Perspectives. This week, trade talks between the United States and Mexico came to an agreement. It's called the U.S.-Mexico Trade Agreement, replacing the name NAFTA. The main focus of zero tariffs for American companies to operate in Mexico and Canada remains intact, giving a sigh of relief to international investors. But what's really interesting is that there was a foreign exchange clause to this agreement. Countries will maintain transparency in how they manage currencies. In other words, countries cannot unreasonably or artificially set their currencies cheaper so as to protect their exporters. Now, countries such as the United States, Canada or Mexico are hard to be called currency manipulators because we adopt a flexible currency exchange rate regime. The central bank can only indirectly affect the value of the currency through its monetary policy, although their mandate is not targeting a specific exchange rate band, but rather on inflation and employment. So for the NAFTA currencies, this provision is okay. My view. Understandably, exchange rates matter. A certain percentage increase or decrease in tariffs seem minimal compared to the wide foreign exchange fluctuations. This foreign exchange provision in the trade agreement may be part of a preparation for the eventual tougher trade talks with China, as China still adopts a quasi-fixed exchange rate regime. Fixed exchange rate systems are typically adopted by less developed, smaller countries where their currencies will be under attack because typically they run a current account deficit. China, on the other hand, has an economic structure where they have always run a trade surplus and they are no longer a small nation. President Trump has never been shy in calling China a currency manipulator. Tougher verbiage on trade talks might give the United States more leverage in future trade negotiations. Thank you very much and be sure to subscribe to our newsletters at cmb.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great day.